What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we have a brand new shiny exploit that can actually help you get a couple shiny Pokemon located in the caves of Area 3, including shiny Larvitar and shiny Bagon, depending on your game. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, enjoy these guides. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. So to start this exploit, we're going to have to be at this tower, East Province Area 3 Watch Tower, which is found just north of the Electric Gym. So you want to fly over here. And then once you are here, you're going to head north towards this cave over there. So you just want to ride on over to this cave to start this exploit. And we found a Pokemon spawner in this cave, which is actually really interesting. Essentially, this spawner is going to keep on spawning Pokemon whenever we knock out Pokemon in the area. So we want to go through this cave, and then we're going to go to the right here. You don't want to go left. We want to go to the right, and there's going to be like a man all the way in the back. And in this hallway, there's actually a Pokemon spawner. So we just want to dodge the Pokemon in here, and if you found this guy, you are in the right area. So now to how to actually see where the spawner is, where that stable light is in the back, that's where the Pokemon spawner is. So to test it out, get your first Pokemon in the party, and just knock out some Pokemon, and notice in the back, we're gonna get some Pokemon spawning there. So we had a stable light jump out, a second stable light just came out, and you can just keep on killing the Pokemon here, and then more Pokemon are gonna keep spawning out from that spawner. So we got another stable light, we got a Larvitar, because I am in Pokemon Scarlet. I'll be able to get shiny Larvitar from this, but if you're doing Pokemon Violet, you can get shiny Bagon from this, which is actually really neat. So you can see how this is probably going to turn into an exploit. Whenever you knock out a Pokemon, a new Pokemon will spawn from the middle of this hallway. And of course, if the Pokemon is shiny, you'll see it on the overworld. And if you decide just to auto battle all the Pokemon, your auto battle Pokemon won't actually kill them. So of course, if you're going to shiny hunt this way, the best way to shiny hunt this method is going to have one to shiny charm of course but you're also going to want to make a sandwich and you want to make a shiny sandwich one that will use a sandwich type that will best exploit the method here so if we're doing larvitar you're probably going to do ground or rock type if you want to hunt for sableye you can do dark or ghost and if we're going to do bag on you're going to do dragon and it'll make all the spawns that come out of that wall that certain pokemon and of course, because there's a shiny sandwich and increase the encounter rate of this Pokemon and the shiny rate of them, you're going to have a good chance of getting a lot of shiny Pokemon within the 30 minutes of that sandwich. And then we're going to set up a picnic here. So you want to be a little bit far away from this guy because it won't let you use a picnic if you're too close to him. So you sort of want to be exactly where I'm at or a little bit further up. And then you're going to hit the picnic. And then by using the picnic here... You're going to want to use the rock recipe, but if you were in Pokemon Violet, be using the dragon recipe. So go to your picnic box right here, hit make a sandwich, and then follow the recipes on the screen here. So we're going to go to what? Creative mode. And then because we're doing rock, we're going to get three bacons, a pickle, and a cucumber. The recipes are pretty nice because you can use pretty much any two Herba Mysticos for most recipes, which is really sweet. So you don't have to like rely just on Salty because those are definitely super old recipes at this point. So for Rock, there is no qualification. So you can just use a Sweet and we can use a Spicy down here and hit Next, any pick. And then we can just make that sandwich real quick. And you're just going to make sure you don't drop anything. Of course, this is why we save beforehand. If you didn't save and you mess up, well, you may lose your ingredients, which, you know, you don't want to lose any Herba Mysticas. Those are a little bit annoying to farm. But if you want to know how to farm those, I did make a pretty solid guide on that on the channel. So definitely check that out, too. A lot more bacon. There's a lot of bacon. But luckily, bacon's very easy to stack. And then pickles... Another cool thing is you don't actually have to put the sandwich on top. So when you get the sandwich, if you're worried about things falling over, just throw it away. And then you can just put the pick through and like, there you go. So yeah, the top is optional if you didn't know that. I know a lot of people's sandwiches does get messed up from the topping of the top bread. So, you know, you can totally avoid that step. All right, so our sandwich is done. And we got sparkling rock. We got encounter rock and tidal power rock. And that's why these recipes are the best. So now we're done with the picnicking. And now we're going to have some new Pokemon start generating from the hole over here. So if we just go into first person mode, you get a really nice look that they just all keep on coming out. 
And luckily, Shiny Larvitar and Shiny Bagon are both pretty different Shiny, so they're going to be very easy to see from a sight perspective. And when they stop coming out of the hole, we're actually going to just reset the picnic. You don't have to throw a Pokemon out there and kill them. Like, you could if you want to. That works as well. But that was a lot of Larvitars, right? Well, we're just going to hit down again, or B, and then we're going to hit picnic again. And this is how you shiny hunt things. We're just going to keep going until eventually we get a shiny Pokemon or multiple. I mean, 30 minutes is a lot with this method. Oh, there's the shiny. I think there's the shiny back there. Let's see. Look at him. There's the shiny Larvitar. That was actually really quick in our sandwich. We got that within five minutes. So if you're happy with that, you can always just save your game and you see a shiny just in case something bad happens. And if you want to just don't want to like battle of all these dudes you can just like auto battle and just take them all out real quick you know it'll be the safest method overall you know especially if you just don't want to run into like a fight with all these guys but there is hella larvitar out here of course so i mean if you want to get a full shiny team of larvitars and get all like six shiny tyranitars for your team definitely go ahead and do that i mean same thing's gonna apply with bagon and salamance of course He's running away from us, though. We gotta be a little bit. We gotta be a little bit sneaky. He he really doesn't want to be caught. Well, there you go, little Larvitar. Now we got you in our sights. You were a little bit sneaky, one, weren't you? So you know, always nice to have a false swiper too. So I do recommend making like a Gallade or like a Breloom. And I'm gonna go throw. Let's throw him in a Dust Ball. You know, he's in the dark. That'll be a really good ball to catch a Larvitar in. And we got a crit catch. So there you go. We got shiny Larvitar. Let's see how many more I can get within the 30 minutes. And there we go. We got another Larvitar, another shiny Larvitar with 19 minutes up on the board. So that's another big one. That's two. So you can see how you can very easily get a full team. Will we get a third one, though? We've been sort of relatively lucky, but, you know, maybe we'll get a third one. All right, Larvitar number two caught. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get a third Shiny Larvitar, but we did get two Shiny Larvitar in 30 minutes, so you cannot really complain about this method. It is super passive and easy to get some nice pseudo-legendaries and Sableye 2. Uh, the most important thing is the positioning. You need to make sure you're pretty much right at this spot so you can see the Pokemon jump out of the wall, which is the spawner, but you also need to make sure you're not too close to this guy. So the moment you're out of this dude's range and you can set up a picnic, that means you should be in a good enough range to see the Pokemon jump out of the spawner. If you're not within that range, you won't be able to get the same success that I had. So that's probably the most important step. I hope you enjoy your free shiny Larvitars, Bagons, and Sableyes from this method. This is definitely going to help us all try to get that complete shiny Dex. And of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Really appreciate it and catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.